With Memorial Day weekend upon us, law enforcement will be cracking down on drunk drivers. In tonight's It's the Law, attorney Jay Davis is here to make sure you are aware of your rights. Good evening. Thanks for being here. Hey, Corrine. So we've got heat and click it or ticket already underway in Georgia. I bet this is a busy time for you. This is going to be a busy summer. All right, so when somebody gets pulled over, maybe at a, one of the stops, or somebody's just been following them and they get pulled over for DUI, what, what should we know? Well, the first thing you need to know is that you have a right to remain silent. A lot of times when a police officer comes up, one of the first things they may ask is how much have you had to drink tonight? And if you can't honestly answer none, then you probably need to start your right to remain silent right there. Advise the police officer as respectfully as you can that you would prefer to assert your Fifth Amendment right and not say anything. Almost everybody has had two drinks, no matter how many drinks they've had. So saying two drinks, saying one drink, is not going to help you. You need to begin being quiet at that point. So if somebody approaches you, the cops there, and they say, you know, they, maybe they argue with you a little bit about that. Are you still supposed to be quiet? Well, or the just one do thing you can ask? say, one thing you can say, is most of, most uh, stops are recorded on video. Mm -hmm. So one thing you can say is once you've tried to assert that right, if they continue to say anything to you, say that I'd like to speak with a lawyer before I begin anything. Okay. And then if they continue that and you show that video later on, then you can show how the cop was the one acting unreasonable. What you want to make sure that you do, a lot of people don't do this, and that's to stay respectful throughout the thing. Even if when you're asserting your rights, you can do that in a respectful way. Sure. Are there any rumors out there? I think a lot of times people talk about DUI, what you should do, what you shouldn't do. Are there any rumors that we should clear up? Well, people think you have to do the test they ask you to do. You do not have to do the roadside sobriety test. And oftentimes, if you had virtually anything to drink, you probably should not do those roadside tests probably should, again, begin your right not to incriminate yourself, and doing those tests is very likely to do that. They're designed to make you fail. Um, one of them is a, a style of a test on your eyes to, for the police officer to look how, how, your, pup, how your eyes sure, you are see that in the movies a lot. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so you got to be careful with those because the police officer is the only one who's going to be able to testify as to whatever happened, what actually happened with your eye. Your stop and turn, walk forward, hill to toe, Virtually every report is going to say, I'll read them over and over again, the police officers know how to write it. I saw the driver, the driver's eyes were bloodshot, they were red, I smelled the odor of alcohol, and it go, they go down a list. They know they're designed to prosecute you, not to assert your rights. All right, so someone gets a DUI, they come to you, you go to court, what happens then? Well, then we start looking at what, what they had. First of all, did you wind up with a breathalyzer? Um, the breathalyzer and toxilizer 5000 is what you'll take once you're at the jailhouse. And if you have been arrested and you're at the jailhouse, you are required to take that test or you're in danger of losing your license for a year. So that test you may want to consider. You probably ought to take that test. And then once you take that test, you're also entitled to your own test. If you can request at that point that you have an independent test done as well. Hmm. All right. But you should assert several things you need to look at as attorneys when you're defending in a case. We look at whether or not there was probable cause to stop. Right here with heat going on, that's 100 days before Labor Day, where they're going to have roadblocks all through the night. They're going to be out in large force in order to try to get people under DUI. So while they're doing that, you need to be careful that those roadblocks, you first of all check to see was that roadblock legitimate. All right, Jay, before we wrap up here, we leave a few more seconds just about uh, people boating and drinking, anything that we should know about if we're hitting the lakes. Well, you're going to have the same rules on the lakes, okay. the same amount, the per se of over .08. However, on Tobasovki, for those of us in Macon who are on Tobasovki a lot, it's a dry lake. You have no right to any alcohol on the lake. You can't drink while you're driving. Um, a boat, and that's not the same in other lakes around Georgia. All right, so you should look at the specific lake then. Sounds that's right. good. Thanks, Jay. We Thank appreciate you. it. Hey, if you have a legal question, send us an email. It's, it's the law at 41mbc.com.